Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, this is case number 18 of our series in radiology. Today our patient is a 4 week year old neonate who has been ventilated and there is history of uh, neonatal respiratory distress syndrome due to prematurity. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of the neonate. So you can see some lines. So this is the NG tube which is at the correct position and also the endotracheal tube is uh, there because the child is ventilated and they are also at uh, normal position and uh, then other abdominal tissues are in the lungs you can see reticular opacities you can see some reticular opacities here multiple reticular opacities in both sides of the lung heart is shifted to the left side because the x-ray is rotated so that's why it's an artifact so it's not abnormality here and there are multiple lucencies here yeah lucent areas and reticular opacities those are the key features in this uh, x-ray and uh, lung volumes are slightly uh, reduced in this patient and no mediastinal masses, no pleural effusions and uh, no pneumothorax and no bs bone abnormalities, the, no vertebral abnormalities so this patient, the diagnosis is bronchopulmonary dysplasia or BPD. Uh, differential diagnosis are pulmonary interstitial emphysema. That's a one differential diagnosis. Other one is, other one is uh, fibrotic lung disease. Lung fibrosis. So those are few differential diagnoses for this kind of appearance and interstitial pneumonia can also take as a differential diagnosis interstitial pneumonia so BPD usually occurs in uh, ventilated patient due to respiratory, neonatal respiratory distress syndrome most commonly due to highland membrane disease or surfactant deficiency and ultimately earlier there is development of pulmonary interstitial emphysema and later stages usually after 4 weeks the patient develop bronchopulmonary dysplasia or fibrotic type lung diseases and uh, so that's the main uh, pathological process of development of bronchopulmonary dysplasia so that concludes case number 18 of our series Please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.